welcome to the next edition of the BDI vlog. Today we're going to be talking about FRC Path Histopathology. Uh, so that's the Fellowship of the Royal College of Pathologists. Uh, that is the qualification you're going to need to get if you want to work as a histopathologist in the UK. Uh, it's the qualification that you're going to need to get your uh, GMC registration. Now for histopathologists you can do the PLAB route, um, however um, really you should be doing it at FRC Path. The demand tends to be at a consultant level, so for us as a, uh, an organisation that helps doctors from overseas, we would strongly recommend that FRC Path is the route that you go down. So we'll talk you through the two different parts, uh, what to expect in the exam and, and give you a few uh, tips and pointers. Alright, so uh, the first part of the FRC PATH exam is very imaginatively called FRC PATH Part 1. So it's going to be a three hour long exam, it's got 125 questions in all and it will include some images as well. Uh, it's covering off basic and molecular uh, biology in terms of basic sciences uh, and there will be a uh, full range of autopsy practices included in the questions as well. So um, this is very much the, the kind of written, as I said, multiple choice part of this exam. The next is going to be much more practical. The cost for the first exam if you're in the UK is £660 and if you're overseas it's going to be £893. Now you can sit the FRC PATH Part 1 exam uh, for histopathology in a number of different places, uh, so UAE, Sudan, uh, Singapore, UK, and if you jump onto the Royal College website you can see a full list of the curriculum and uh, where you can sit those exams. All right, this is where it gets a bit more complicated. So the FRC Path Part 2 exam is split over two different days into about six different sections. So we're going to run you through each, uh, each component of that section by section uh, and outline what to expect. Okay, so first up on the first morning of the FRC Path Part 2 exam, you're going to cover off cytopathology. So you've got eight non-gynecological uh, cytopathology cases provided in pairs in 20 minute slots. Uh, so you'll need to review and analyse those uh, and you're assessed using a closed marking system. So there'll be predetermined criteria that the examiners are looking for and it'll be marked centrally a couple of days after you've actually sat the test. All right, after the first morning, uh, you're gonna have an afternoon session covering uh, long cases. So you're gonna get four stations, which are about 20 minutes long each, and they're gonna be long cases. Uh, so that means that they'll be covering off uh, different uh, biopsies which can't be covered using a single stain sample. So if you were going to look at microscopy, you'd have a renal and tumour biopsy. Uh, for histochemistry, you might have a liver and a renal biopsy. So it's, um, as I say, long slides that can't be done, or long cases, sorry, that can't be done using just one stain sample. Okay, day one's done. Day two, in the morning, you're going to be looking at surgical histology. So this will be on the second morning. Uh, you'll get 20 cases of 10 pairs of stain samples uh, and they'll be done in 20 minute slots. So you've got about three hours and 20 minutes for this one. Uh, the cases will range uh, from a number of different organ systems. You'll have gastro, gyne, respiratory, urology, lympho, endo, um, but it's really important to note that there will be pediatric cases or there, it's very likely that you'll be having uh, pediatric cases as well um, and that those different cases will range in difficulty. So some of the answers might require a longer diagnosis or a longer test technique to describe, uh, others will be a bit shorter, but you need to demonstrate that you have assessed the sample uh, and you can demonstrate that you know which is the appropriate technique when approaching each one. Um, so, you know, ranging as I say in difficulty, day two, um, I'm afraid it doesn't get any easier, um, but we'll, we'll outline now what to expect in the afternoon. Okay, so on the second day in the afternoon, the next three parts can come in any order, so it's hard to know which to prepare for first. Uh, macroscopic is, is one of them, and that's the first one that we'll outline just now. So in the macroscopic histopathology part of the exam, you'll get four cases, um, and you'll have within each case a series of photos and gross pathology specimens, uh, and you will have to, using clinical information that's been provided, uh, prepare responses for specific questions, uh, and that'll include marking up on the photos um, any, uh, any information that you feel is relevant to the diagnosis and the, the technique that you're using. Uh, so you'll get two 20 minute slots to view the cases and prepare your answers. And then following completion of that task, you'll get a 20 minute discussion uh, with examiners where they'll probably ask you a number of probing questions uh, where you'll explain why you answered the way that you did, why you marked up the specimens and the uh, photos in the way that you did, uh, and just give a full explanation as to why you uh, used each technique when approaching each uh, case. 
Okay, so part number five, uh, which is the second part of the afternoon on day two, uh, so we, again, we don't know which order these are gonna be in, uh, are the OSPES parts, or O-S-P-E-S. Uh, so you get two 20-minute slots. Uh, one is a face-to-face -face with two examiners, uh, and the other is a written exercise. Um, and the topics are not so much about uh, diagnosis and um, uh, assessment of slides or specimens, uh, it's going to be much more about management of cases. So uh, clinical governance, uh, MDT, multidisciplinary team approaches to, to different cases uh, and how you would interact with an MDT environment. Okay, last part, FRC path, part two, day two. This vlog has really pushed the limit of my knowledge. I feel like I've learned a lot. Uh, the last section is frozen section. So uh, it doesn't refer to the film. Uh, you have six cases which are viewed in two 20 minute sections followed by a 20 minute meeting with two examiners. Now, the idea here is that you make notes on the uh, cases that you're given uh, and then you provide a bottom line diagnosis only. So uh, the examiners, once you've made your diagnosis, are gonna ask you how you came to that conclusion, uh, what techniques you would suggest for use with the, with the case. So um, really, really quick, those last three parts of that um, FRC path part two, day two afternoon, are really, as you've seen, 20 minute slots which are broken down to really small sections. So two quite intense days, uh, a lot to take in, but ultimately there are uh, ways to chunk it down into much smaller chunks. So I hope that you found that, um, that useful. Um, hopefully at the end of that, um, in the month's time, you'll be getting a, a positive result in your exam. Okay, so uh, top tip from us, uh, FRC Path Histopathology uh, Part 2 is one of the only exams that you can take fully outside of the UK. So um, you can actually sit the Part 2 examination in Jordan. Uh, the Part 2 exam itself costs £1,388, so it's not a cheap exam to take. However, um, a really nice thing about this exam is that a lot of the past papers and the, the past sort of cases and specimen slides and photos are available online. It's actually a really good library of, uh, of resource that you can use to prepare for this examination. Um, we would also really recommend that you contact revision courses. There are some really good ones based in the UK and overseas. Uh, UK Blood Academy is one that springs to mind. Um, there are also a number of courses run out of uh, Kingston Hospital, for example, uh, where uh, Royal College examiners and people who have been uh, working with the field for a number of years will present past papers or create mock exams. Uh, and they'll, those are usually really, really worthwhile uh, activities to, to partake in. So um, I hope you found that helpful. Uh, that's everything from us about the FRC uh, Path Part 2 examination and the FRC Path Part 1 examination, of course. And um, if there's anything else that you need, do please feel free to get in touch with us uh, and we look forward to seeing you at the next vlog. Thank you.